There are some times when writing code that you want to switch from one data type to another. So in this case, I'm converting from a byte data type into a short data type. And you can see that I have the number 10, and I'm going to take the byte number 10 and store it as a short 10. And this is completely legal, and it would output 10. This type of conversion is called a widening conversion because I'm going from a byte data type, which is one byte of data, and I'm moving it into a data type that can store two bytes, which is a short. The byte easily fits within the short. Nothing special has to happen when you're making a widening conversion from a smaller data type into a bigger data type. Let's reset the board and look at another example. Let's say I was trying to go from a byte into a long. This also would be a widening conversion because I'm going from a very small data type, which can only store one byte, into a long, which can store a considerable amount more than a byte. And again, this would be a widening conversion. It doesn't just have to be with bytes to other data type. It can be with something like an int into a double, which is what we've done here. It can be an int into a long, which we've done here. It's important to remember that when you're doing widening conversions, you're always going from a smaller data type into a larger data type. Now here, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to take a larger data type like an int and store it into a smaller data type like a byte. And this would produce an error without any special code. And the reason is it's called a narrowing conversion, meaning that you're going from a larger data type into a smaller data type. And hopefully you can see the visual problem with this. If I tried to take an int and move it into a byte, I have three bytes of code that are unable to fit inside of a byte. But you can see that the 10 would fit inside of a byte. So I could make this conversion. But in order to do it, I have to do something called typecasting. So what typecasting is, is taking one data type and temporarily turning it into another data type. And that's what we've done here. We took the int num one and converted it into a byte just for this line. And if I was to run this program right now, unfortunately, I would still get an error. And the reason is, is that with typecasting, you must include parentheses around the data type. So you can't just say byte num one, you have to say parentheses byte and parentheses num one. And then when we do that and run the program, we would get 10. Another example would be taking a double and converting it into an int. And this is actually a common conversion. But if we tried to do it without typecasting, it wouldn't work. A double stores eight bytes and an int only stores four. And we're doing a narrowing conversion, greater to smaller. And there would be all this extra data left over. But that num is definitely in the range of an int, which is negative 2.1 billion to positive 2.1 billion. So it would fit inside of there. So when we use a typecast and we temporarily make that double an int, it has no problem and it would print out a million. Narrowing conversions always go from a larger data type into a smaller data type. Here I've shown another example of a narrowing conversion, a float into a short. Now it can happen. But I want you to note that the range is negative 32,768 to positive 32,767. One million cannot fit into a short data type. It will work, but it's going to give us some odd results. And we see that it's going to give us 16,960. So you have to be careful about converting down or making narrowing conversions because if the number is too large for the particular data type, it isn't necessarily going to cause an error, but it is going to do strange things to the number. So 1 million became 16,960. It is sometimes necessary in Java to take one data type and move it into a different data type, whether it be larger or smaller. When you take a smaller to a larger conversion, this is called widening conversion, and it does not require a cast. So you don't have to have the parentheses with the data type in front of it. The computer will automatically change one to the other. A narrowing conversion, on the other hand, where you're taking a larger data type and moving it into a small, requires that you typecast it. And this is important because 
if you try to take too large of a number and put it into a smaller data type, it could have unforeseen or unwanted results. The definition of typecasting is temporarily changing a variable's data type. So we said when we're making a narrowing conversion that we're taking one data type and moving it into a smaller one, we have to put the smaller data type in parentheses in order to make that conversion. And it's only temporary. The value would still be whatever original data type it would be. Only for that line of code would it be changed into the particular data type that you need to make the conversion. When moving from a larger data type to a smaller data type, make sure the data that you're trying to fit into the smaller data type will actually fit. Otherwise, you will get unexpected results and your program might not work as intended. Conversions are important to Java and sometimes it is necessary to move from one data type into another. Be sure to know whether you're widening or narrowing and where typecasting is necessary.